Yay! There's a yellow arrow on that on that um, post over there. Oh, that's a relief. I, I was starting to think, what should I do? <laughs> Just walk aimlessly north, or yeah. Anyway, that's good. Um, it's not terribly well signposted. This, I can see another one down there actually. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, um, I, I kind of know I'm going the right direction, so we'll go with that for now. Welcome back. So that's my next uh, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, we're, we're now kind of going in the same direction as the Camino on the app. We're kind of almost going towards it, so maybe they join up. It, yeah, it has been quite a detour though. I just don't understand why. Um, I'll probably never know why, but we'll see. We'll see what I have. Oh, I think there's a truck coming. Oh, still walking down this straight road just goes on forever. <sighs> so this is the main uh, highway that kind of goes to the south of Portugal, uh, the A2. And um, crossing it, obviously. I'm just glad that bit's over honestly that was a nightmare two really long flat stretches and like all fenced in as well um anyway <laughs> yeah we'll see uh, we'll see what happens I, i'm still following these yellow arrows <laughs> so there's definitely a yellow arrow there but back there I just went through an open gate that said private property with paw prints next to it. Now I, I was assuming it was there, but but it's actually on both sides of the on the pathway. It says it so. <sighs> it's definitely got its challenges. This part of the um, Central Camino. <laughs> just hope I don't run into any animals <laughs> yay finally back on the the old Camino or the new one with a proper sign as well not just a yellow arrow on a tree I don't even want to know how long extra for I walked to get here to be honest probably better off not knowing so anyway, and this is where my app as well has the route, so all good, I can push on now. <laughs> good morning everyone, bom dia. So yeah, I ran out of um, my power bank last night, so my phone's only half charged, but I've got the trusty solar panel working on it now, charging my power bank up. Um, yes, yeah, today I'm heading to a town called Al Sosa um, and then I'm really not sure whether to stay there whether the campsites open whether to go further in the way on the way I've got a river to cross and I believe there is a little boat that takes you I don't think it's a huge river but obviously it's bigger too big to, to get across otherwise um, but knowing around here it might not even have any water in it I don't know but <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to figure it out when I get there. Otherwise, it's a long road walk around it. But, you know, that's where I am. <laughs> hey, guys. Got my sailor on the back. I think it's charging. Yeah, just um, a farmer just came along and had a chat. He didn't speak English and my Portuguese is awful. I mean, I, I can speak, a, get by in Spanish a bit, but... Of course they are different um, but I think I managed to explain to him that I've been living here in Portugal really for over a year now and um, that I was walking a long way <laughs> I think he probably thought I'm crazy and I probably am to be honest <laughs> oh well here yeah, I need to get going it's gonna be hot today so um, yeah I have to get going <laughs> 
Welcome back, guys. So this sand is an absolute nightmare. It really slows you down. You know, I really want to be getting moving today, and it's just... I'm hoping it's the end up there anyway. It's just... Um, just not fun walking in it. <laughs> oh, give me some hard ground. Even a road, I don't care. <laughs> oh, the soft sand is just a nightmare on this stretch. I'm kind of reluctant to say anything bad. You know, because ultimately I'd love people to watch this in the future and maybe have a go themselves. And I guess a lot of people won't be worried about a bit of sand. But, you know, when it's really hot... And you're carrying a whole lot of stuff it's really hard work i mean you know five kilometers i, I would always do in way under an hour uh, under an hour always but you know it's an hour and a half <laughs> and um yeah it's just no one's walking this route i mean there's never any footprints or anything so <laughs> Anyway, I'll continue. Hopefully there'll be a road at some point. I don't care. Tarmac. Anything. <laughs> oh, finally on tarmac. <laughs> oh dear. I'm happy to be here. I just hope something's open. <laughs> Yay. E9. So there's info on here, but it's so faded I can't even read it. <laughs> um, but that looks like where the, the crossing is, the boat. <laughs> I mean, I could almost jump across that. I can't believe there's ever been six people that have crossed, that have walked this. <laughs> ah! oh, I'll have to go down and see anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, hoping I can get a coffee first. <laughs> nice big coffee. I'm really glad this bar's open. Yeah, there's a, a tiny little river um, and they take you over by boat. I mean, I could almost jump it. <laughs> but the guy who runs the bar, his father, does the boat. They're quite excited to see somebody, I think. <laughs> oh. God, I nearly fell in. <laughs> he nearly fell in as well. Oh, no, that would have been a disaster. I've got everything on me. We had to climb over three boats like he's doing now. It's just a tiny river, but... Oh, good man. He didn't charge me any as well because I ate in his cafe. Welcome back. <laughs> just taking a little bit of time out just to... Sort my feet out. Got quite a big blister on the on my heel, but it, it's not too sore. Um, and just recovering from the trauma of almost falling in that river. <laughs> oh my God, I I think I actually saved the guy falling in. <laughs> I pulled, nearly pulled him out from uh, falling in the water. <laughs> oh, lesson learned. I, I didn't have everything in um, waterproof bags so silly like electronics um i just looked at the river and it was so i mean you could almost jump over it so i didn't really do much but uh it's definitely um a drama and the guy was really cool and uh, he wouldn't take any money and um i'm still here and i mean actually it's so hot it would have been probably quite nice <laughs> okay onwards <laughs> So, uh, it looks sandy, but it's actually very firm underneath, and I'm really moving now. Moving fast, so... And uh, the wind's just picked up a little bit, although it's just suddenly dropped, but... Because um, otherwise, it's it's pretty hot now, hot time of day. There you go, you can probably hear the wind. <laughs> Get a push on. <laughs> Quite an intimidating um, fence. Won't be hopping over there. Good morning, folks. So I'm not going that way. I'm going to Lidl. 
<laughs> and then I'm taking a bus to Lisbon. So, yeah, I need a break. Um, and I was going to have a break a bit further up, closer to Lisbon. But, uh, you know, 12 days has been pretty rough going. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Lisbon, have a break, and then I'll be back here. I promise I'm coming back. I'm doing this. Whatever. <laughs> okay, little.